welcome back so now in this video we will just be working right on the map type and also we will just see how to just add a multiple markers out in the Google map for the specific camera location or area first let us go ahead and find out how to just change the map types okay so what we will do right in the Google map below this in here we will say simply map type and then we say in here map type you can go with the normal hybrid satellite as you guys can see the suggestion so I'll choose the satellite okay and now I'll just hold to load the app and you guys will notice the changes for that specific map type here we go okay you can just move the camera position like that okay you can even zoom like that okay it will show you the area right in the satellite map type zoom out and just like that and also you can go with a hybrid or let's go with a normal or to load the app and here we are okay so you can choose the type according to your personal choice whatever you want I'll go with the normal so that's how we can change the map type so now I'll just add the marker so for that specific target initial position latitude and longitude we just choose this area position but we didn't see any marker for that in here in the Google map so what we will do we will just go ahead and we will just uh, implement a marker for that specific light and long camera position and you guys will notice that so for that what we will do above the widget bill in here we'll say final and then we're gonna have the list okay in here marker and then what we will do we're gonna give the name and it will be as a final variable so in here I'll say my markers and in here there's uh, this as a R because there will be uh, multiple markers and in here mac that M capital all just fine and basically that list marker is going to just specify the type of objects that can be stored right in my markers so in that case it's a list that can hold the objects of a type marker now we will just go ahead down below in here we'll say final and guys the name for the markers is my marker and once the value will be assigned to this it is going to be non-changeable that's why in here we make that final now down below final and gonna have that list in here markers and then let us go ahead we will create a list for that so we can even just add a single marker or a multiple marker in it according to your choice now in here I'll say marker list list there we go and in here now what we will do just take this down from here write it and semicolon and we'll say marker now it's gonna just take the marker ID and we will just provide that in here so marker ID 
we will create the first one so we can say first and in here comma take this down from here now right after that what we will do we will just provide the position and the position is going to be the lat and long that we provided before as you guys can see right in here just copy that from here and in this lat and long latitude and longitude in here past it you guys can see that now also we will just provide the info window with that so whenever we will be click upon that specific marker that we are about to create there will be kind of info window whenever we will click upon that so the info window will say that it's gonna have something title like my current location or my position or anything that you want as a text in there so what I'll do in here let's have that info window in here info window widget now in here let's provide the title and in here we can say my position all just fine in here comma and what I'll do I'll just add the const modifier to that and all just fine in here comma too so we are done with this marker now what I'll do we'll go down and just integrate that right in the Google map so here we are with the Google map and below the map type we'll say markers now in here we will just add the markers so in here set then we have that marker in here created a while ago now we'll say dot off and in there we will just provide our marker by the name it was let me just see my marker copy that from here and in here past it all just fine so all of the work for this specific marker has been completed now we will just go ahead and hot load the app and you guys will notice the marker we didn't see any marker in here because we have to go and just call upon that specific marker list right in the inner stand so it will just then change the result dynamically so what we will do for that specific purpose above the widget bill in here we'll say in its state and right in there what we'll say by the name markers my markers okay there we go we'll say that in here and then we say dot add all because it's a list so we're gonna add all and in here now just provide the marker list there we go and write it and semicolon all just good now now we have to go simply and just hold to load the app again there we go with the marker okay right on that specific area as you guys can see let me just zoom in okay as we copy that latitude and longitude okay right from the google map and we just use that in here as a target camera position and we just add that specific marker for that right in here now if i click on that specific marker you guys will just notice the info window there we go my position as we edit right in the info window by the title my position so this is our first marker and we will go now and add another marker so you guys will know how to add a uh, multiple markers now for a time saving I'll just go and copy that specific marker from here to here 
copy it and in here comma and then down in here paste it this time what I'll say we will plot the marker ID first this is going to be the second so provide a unique marker ID so it's going to be then easy for us to recognize that now I'll remove that const from here and in here we'll pass it so the yellow line will be gone there we go okay now I'll just change the latitude and longitude so our second marker gonna be dark on the different camera position so what I'll do I'll go open the browser and just open the Google map you will copy the Latin long from there for a different camera position here we are right in the Google map okay so now I'll just copy you can choose whatever you want right in here I'll go with the G9 okay from that specific area right click copy that coordinates go back to the Android studio and in here past it okay now it was which position G91 above that so we will just give the name G9 so in here we will just change that title for G9 area that is fine now you can go ahead and hold to load the app and I just check that here you go as you guys can see that second marker okay G9 as we copied from the Google map from the G9 one above area there we go so you guys can click upon that and you guys will notice the info window G9 area okay so it's working totally fine and you guys can see that that we just add a second marker successfully so if you guys want to add another marker just go for it we'll do that from here to here copy it and in here first comma and then right in here past it so there will be a third marker and now we will just change the latitude and longitude for the different camera position so we will go towards the Google map and now from here we will just copy the position F11 that area specific above that a little copy the coordinates go towards the Android studio and in here past it there we go so it's a uh, F11 area so in here we'll say F11 area okay now how to load the app and we will check that specific marker as you guys can see that third marker okay is right in the F11 area there we go okay and all just fine working totally fine so that's how you guys can add a multiple markers okay and basically that's it for this video this video is getting a little lengthy right from the next video we will work further so see you then